Well, this is sort of weird, huh? Welcome back, everybody, for some more Earthbound. Um, might be a little disconcerting to see what the party has kind of transformed into here. You may be wondering, have we... Is this the Fantastic Voyage? Why are they all small? This doesn't make any sense. Well, in truth, we have not, in fact, shrunk. But the world around us has grown quite a bit. This is the Lost Underworld. Um, think like the, um, the Lost World and stuff like that from, uh... Oh, what even is it? Um, the, the story of the Lost World, where, where there's like a dinosaur land in the Antarctic or something. That's kind of the same idea here. Then we have this thing, this little hole in the ground. Can't really check it. You may have seen it erupt. I don't know if that happened before the video started or not, but uh, if we give it a minute here, it's going to do a thing for us. If we give it a minute. There we are. We kind of climb on it and get rocketed into the air. The hot spring energized you completely. And then we get all of our health and stuff back. Alright, so now we got some dinosaurs. Some really big dinosaurs. Well, let's go fight one, I guess. This is a wetnosaur. Uh, if there's anything I remember about wetnosaurs, is they don't like fire. I don't like it at all. Oh. He's got a lot of health, apparently. There we go. We just beat up a dinosaur, everybody. We're pretty strong. So yeah, we're just gonna probably spend most of this episode exploring this area. Okay, here's another dinosaur. This one's purple. Must be Nessie's cousin. This is a Chompasaur. I remember these things being kind of nasty. So I'm gonna go all out a little bit here. Oh fuck, he has a power shield. Um... Oh dear. That's kind of bad. Now he, that's not too bad on damage. Uh, let's switch to freeze gamma. I don't remember if the heavy bazooka gets around the shield or not. Let me use mirror. See if we can take advantage of this dinosaur's prodigious size. I'm saying prodigious size. Apparently I've played a little too much uh, Darkest Dungeon lately. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Not nearly as bad as I remember it being. I remember it being a lot worse. So we'll just kind of walk along these rocks here. This is going to become a thing here in the Lost Underworld. The geyser will go off and we will have to stop and wait until it goes off. It's a little annoying, but what can you do? All right, can I... probably can't get out on that side. Because I'd kind of like to avoid this dinosaur if I can. Maybe if I just move through the trees... Oh, crap, there's a present up there. All right. Well, let's do it then. Okay. Um, this guy wasn't too bad, so I'm just gonna physically attack here. I think the only thing he really does is stomp on us. He doesn't do a whole lot of damage. I forgot I need to have my controller underneath the desk so it doesn't make as much noise. Can you just hit that guy for 500 hit points of damage? That's pretty impressive. I guess that shows the benefits of the sword. Uh, speaking of the sword, uh, there's actually another item like that that you can get for uh, Jeff, uh, named in my game, Neil, from the Lumen Hall. Um, it's the same drop rate, 1 in 128 chance... I'm debating whether or not I want to try for that one, too. I kind of want to, just because I don't think I've ever gotten it. And it would be nice to get it for the first time. 
But uh, as far as whether or not I do it, um, the main thing that I'm concerned about is whether or not you guys want to see it. So if you guys would like to see me get that, and probably the other two items too, because um, Paula slash Lisa and Ness slash Fox also have one, also have items like that. Okay, so these are more tendas that live down here in the in the Lost Underworld. These are a little better at talking, as you might remember from talking to the tenda up in the village. You're strange, but you smell good. Mm. So I'll tell you a secret. Did you feel the earthquake a little while ago? You know, we have earthquakes all the time here. After an earthquake, the hot springs will erupt. The blue springs are great for recovering health. The red springs are perfect for healing paralysis and drawing out poison. That's good to know. I already kind of figured that out, though. The bird right there says strange words like hello and click beep beep beep. So it's a phone bird. We can talk to our father. And we have $300,000 in the bank now. I wonder if you can even get to a million. Normally the, the cap for games like this was uh, 255 So I've already gone beyond that. I'm not sure if I can go to a hundred or to a, to a million or not. Kind of want to find out. Imagine we probably will considering how many monsters I... Uh, how many more monsters I've killed than I really needed to. Alright, so I remember seeing a present over here, so let's go get that. You know, speaking of which, I didn't even... It was a brain food lunch, okay. I didn't even re register what I got out of that first one. There's a horn of life, okay. There's a chompasaur, which I think we can avoid if we go around the trees like this. Oh! Well, we're good, we're good, we're good. We have escaped him. He is trapped in the trees. Probably not trapped, but he's in no position to come after us, so we're in good shape. All right, what's this? There's a sea pendant inside. All right, looks like that has a slightly higher defensive value. Uh, is there anyone who can benefit from a sea pendant? Uh, it boosts yours by five. What does it do? on your body. Fire, freeze, and flash. Wow, that thing's really good. Um, this is just freeze, right? Yeah. Hmm. I think he has the rabbit's foot in that slot. Body, paralysis attacks, increases speed. Okay, I think I actually want to give this to Fox. Because that's a pretty helpful item to have. And Lisa's defense is already pretty high. Alright. So let's go to the flame pendant. Give that to Lisa to free up some inventory space. And let's continue our exploration. Probably gonna try to do here is just kind of go along the mountains the whole time. Uh, can I get out up there? It looks like I can. And he definitely can't get to me, so. Uh oh. Nope. Nope. This isn't gonna work. We're gonna have to go around. That means we might have to fight this guy. But we'll see if we can get past him here. Let's see what's down here. I don't think much. No, that's just the, the village and stuff. I don't really have any areas that I have not covered as of right now. Okay. Oh, there's a big old village over there. Gonna have to check that out in a minute. Yeah, I knew there'd be a present up there. Damn it. All right. Another earthquake. Okay. Well, let's fight the Chompasaur. Which always looked a little cross-eyed to me. It looked like something was a little wrong with his brain. <laughs> he is a dinosaur. They're not very smart. Uh, why don't you use the shield killer? And I really want to see if you can turn into this dinosaur. That'd be awesome. Shield disappeared. Sweet. Let's go ahead and super freeze him. Could not turn into the Trumposaur. He's got to be almost dead already. 
why don't you use healing on Lisa here? Never mind, he's dead. We'll have to do that out of combat. Or have her eat something. We do have plenty of food. Alright, that's a pretty big level up. Get that health up that high. Go ahead and eat the plain roll. Hit points maxed out. Ah, how does get to? Can I can I go this way? Alright, I can go this way. Guts capsule. Go ahead and use that on yourself. Okay. I'll just walk over this way. Talk to this little man over here. What's going on, little man? A chubby, obnoxious kid from some foreign country said something heartrending. So, I'm healing my wounds in the hot springs. Oh, they can even cure emotional distress? It's pretty impressive. Okay, so this is the one they said would cure poison. I wonder if it'll do anything for your health. Let's find out. It's gonna take a long time since I just... Oh, hey! Cool. It uh, happened relatively quickly. I appreciate that. The hot spring cured you completely. I don't think it changed our health. Nope. Okay, so red one's mostly useless unless we're poisoned. Or paralyzed or have some kind of status effect. Um, can I get through here? Yeah. Good. Okay, why don't we go check out this village then? Because I don't believe there's much of anything down here. No. Yeah, just that area over there. So let's go to the gate. Oh, we have been noticed. Ah, that's why the hot spring. Okay. I remember now, if you try to go to this gate before you access the hot spring, you stink and they won't let you in. You guys smell really good. <laughs> Who am I? I'm a tender. Hey, what are you doing inside our dinosaur cage? I'm going to open the door and get you out of there right now. And you get out of there right now. I'm the boss, so I will let you out. Thank you for the tender crowd. Oh, no, I think it's the tender crowd that gets us in there. That's right. I'm dumb. Even though I listen to the talkative Mystery Rock story, I don't understand what he's talking about. Why don't you see the talkative Mystery Rock? That rock really jabbers away. Thank you for coming all the way into this primitive country. You must be tired. To stay, it'll run you $400. What do you need money for? You are going to stay, aren't you? Sure. Whatever. Make yourself comfortable, I guess. To me. Well, well, make yourself comfortable. There you go. I read it in the voice. Uh, okay, I think I already talked to this dude. We made a cage for dinosaurs and locked them up. That's what my brother tells me. But I don't believe it. He's just spewing out of his cake hole. You guys are really anachronistic. Let's play store. My friend Ego loves this game. So, hi, may I help you? What would you like to sell? Uh, none of that. I think I will sell this. Flame pendant? I'm authorized to pay up to $1,500 for that. How about it? Is there anything else I want to sell? Probably the Night Pendant. Yeah. Because I think all that does is protect me from uh, Flash. So it's not a huge deal. Lucky Coin, let's go ahead and sell that. I'm gonna stop reading his lines at this point because he's just repeating the same things. Okay. We might need to find ourselves an ATM. Alright. Dende who liked to talk came to the Lost Underworld because we couldn't stand the quiet up above. So we established a separate tribe. I hope we can be friendly again someday. Yeah, it was a lot easier to live up above. Okay, he mentioned an Ego, and I remember there being a guy who can change your money. Who can, like, uh, ATM service for you. And I don't think he charges as much as that idiot with the snorkel. 
Didn't you think that the Tinda up above have some particularly beautiful women? They're still shy, though. We're the same Tinda as those above ground. We seem different? Yeah, you know, the Tinda up there are shy and don't like to talk. So what's this say here? Don't feed the dinosaurs in the cage. The boss. You're a foreigner, aren't you? I am a worldwide Tinda. I was an exchange student who traveled to a country that is known as an economic superpower. My name is Ego Stick. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Shall I loan you some money? If you want to withdraw, I will charge you a handling fee. Nope, bye. That's a fucking ripoff. Uh-uh, not doing it. All right, so, you yeah, know, we're just gonna go over here and uh, teleport, I guess. To, does it really matter? Which one can I get to the ATM the quickest at? Let's go to Tucson, I haven't been to Tucson in a while. Sweet, ATM's right there. Fantastical. All right. Let's go get out a bunch of money. I think the most I can even carry on me is uh, like uh, five nines. So 99999 dollars. So what I'm going to do first, so I don't have to worry about doing the math, is I'm going to deposit what I have on me. And then I'm going to withdraw. All the money. This is a nice town. I like this town. Welcome. Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? No, I'm sure I've already heard you tell me about Tucson. Thanks. And apparently it's too much trouble for you to tell me anyway, so why did you even offer? We're gonna go back to the under... Alright. We're gonna go back to the underworld. Okay, hang on. We can probably get a pretty good running start here. If this fails, I'm just going to use beta again, because it's so much easier. Oh, it worked. Good. Okay. Now we're not too far from where we wanted to be. We just hung up that dinosaur in that tree. Oh, God! Um, I'm trying to remember where I am exactly. Where's the village? The village is over here. Okay. So let's just kind of sneak past. Never mind. Must fight. Okay, I really want you to turn into a Chompasaur, dude. These things are awesome. <sighs> he did not turn into the Chompasaur. Power shield to fire the attack. The shield disappeared. He knows fire beta, that kind of hurts. Yeah, I did a little bit of damage. Nothing to sweat just yet, but a little bit of damage there. Okay, now we can continue on our way. Ah! Came at, really, came at me really quick and then he stopped. It's kind of frightening. Did I talk to this man? Yeah. And I'm not talking to this fucking ego stick trying to steal my money. So, buy the ultimate bat. Yes. Six, six, six more damage points. That's not too good. Uh, let's see if this is any better. That's so. That's a lot better. Wow. I must have missed an upgrade for her somewhere. Shiny coin. I think she's got the Saturn ribbon. He's got the souvenir coin and he can't use it, so. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. 
red talisman coin. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, no. At least I don't think so. I need to take another look at what you had. What does the shiny coin do? Uh, defense and luck, so just like the other coins. Okay. Um, do you have anything else of any import? Okay, this is important. I want some of this. So we're gonna buy up some of your water. Buy probably like three. And then... We're gonna buy some mammoth burgers, because those sound good. I think I've already bought the luxury jerky. I do kind of want to see what the mammoth burgers say, just like I did in the previous episode. I think it was the previous episode. It might have been the one before that. The one where I read the jerky descriptions, and they were funny. At least I thought they were funny. Maybe you didn't. Uh... Let's go ahead and give Lisa one more. She's carrying mammoth burgers for everyone except for Kenji because he doesn't eat our terrible food. When eaten, you recover about 200 hit points. Okay. Alright, so the only thing I have not done here is talk to the rock. I wonder if Ego Stick does anything different. Let me see. Foreigner. Yes, 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 yes. No. I guess he doesn't feel strange about it at all. That's good for him, but I'm not letting him rip me off. Sorry. Okay. Now we talk to the rock, and it says... You finally came, Fox. Finally, you talked to me. I, I, I did kind of walk around on you a little bit, did I? <laughs> Despite them telling me to talk to you. Listen, Fox. I'm going to tell you something very important. You may want to take notes. I'll pass. Ready? You are the chosen one. Your destiny is not only yours. It's the destiny of the whole universe. There will be a time in which all of you in the universe will overlap each other. It's not necessary to understand now. Do you remember Giant Step in Onet? That is one of your sanctuary. It is a spot which gives you power and allows you to realize all your skills. There was a monster that protected it. The monster was influenced by the power of the place. You must have beaten those monsters. You must reach all of the eight power spots in the world. When the soundstone records the melodies of all eight power spots, you can finally see your world. I'll tell you all of the power spots. One, giant step in Onet. Two, Lilliput steps in Peaceful Rest Valley near Tucson. Milky Well, or three, Milky Well in Grapefruit Falls in Saturn Valley. Was that in Grapefruit Falls? I guess it was. Four, Rainy Circle, found by Neil in Winters. Five, Magnet Hill at the edge of the city of Foreside. Six, Pink Cloud, which Kenji knows. Seven, and Lumen Hole, where the Shining Lichen lives in a cave. Eight. A new place is now going to be opened up to you. Fire Spring, located southwest of here. Listen to the melodies of all eight power spots. If you do not fail, you may upset Gigas' plans. Understand, Fox? The time will come. The time when the destiny of you and the whole universe will overlap. It is fast approaching. Uh, cool. Why does she have so little health? I guess he only healed me, because I thought I took damage from that fire thing. Yeah, I'm topped off. I don't know why everyone else isn't. Alright, well, let's stay at this stupid straw hut thing. And then I suppose we will uh, save again, just to be safe. exploration. So we'll go ahead and walk on out here. There's another 
dinosaur. Oh, crap, there's nothing between me and him. Okay. Just try the shield killer once. Please work. Yes. You can just melee him down. But not turn into the Chomposaur. Kenji, you are really bad at this. Oh my god, the fire! It hurts! Oh boy, we might have to weather two turns from this thing. We're definitely gonna have to weather two turns from this thing, and it's gonna kill one of us. Oh wow, it didn't kill her. I guess she's gonna have one hit point left. Okay, please kill it this time. Please. Holy crap, that was too close. Okay, Neil is now 71. Alright, Lisa, go ahead and eat one of those. Eat a peanut cheese bar, actually. Get 110 hit points back. We'll give one to Neil. We'll have Kenji use Life Up Alpha on himself. And I think we're probably good for now. So let's just uh, look around some more. I don't believe I saw anything up there other than mountains, so let's go this way. There's not really any openings down there, so... Well, there's a present, but I can't get to it from here. There's a cave. Let's go see what's going on with this cave. Okay, it's a weird cave with weird music and a broken thing. And a weird tentacle rock. All right. Sorry about that. Somebody forgot to silence his phone. Take care of that now. That was just uh, an alert of mine letting me know of something that I need to do that I already did. So, just ignore that. And we'll go over and get this present here. The present Cloak of Kings inside. That sounds like an item for Mr. Kenji. Probably his body item. Yep. Alright, Kenji is fully equipped. Fantastic. Now we'll go on down here. You know, I wonder if they just didn't want to make all the items for a fourth character. Uh oh. I can't. I can't sneak through. Oh dear. Ah! No, it's an ambush. Ah, crap. And we're not at particularly high health. And he's doing a fire attack. Wonderful. Well, this is worst case scenario, pretty much. Alright, uh, we're gonna do life up beta. We're gonna freeze the shit out of this guy. And you're gonna do the hungry HP sucker. Um, you're gonna heal someone. So you're probably gonna heal Neil. Just gotta hope we heal before he gets his attacks. 193 hit points, so yeah, Neil's, Neil's good. I should have even bothered healing him. Alright. Let's just keep freezing this dude. See if you can turn into him. Jeez. Alright. So useless. Oh, good. Another fire attack. Can we just kill this thing, please? God, these are annoying. I remember why I don't like them now. They basically breathe fire. It sucks. Uh, give Lisa the spicy jerky. That'll max her out. Go ahead and heal Kenji. Heal Neil. Oh, you know what? I bet this is a frickin' blue spring. Let's find out. 
Because if it is, it's just going to give us all of our psychic coins back, so. What the heck? I was trying to get on it, man. Ugh, alright. Nice music, though. Back at full, I believe. Yep, everybody's ticking back up to full, it looks like. Okay. What's this say? In case of danger, evacuate here, the boss. Here, the dinosaurs don't come and attack me, so I can relax. Except now I can't get out. That sounds like a problem. Okay. Save. Yes, yeah, working too hard, etc., etc. Alright, I feel like this is probably the fire spring. And we're gonna have to fight one more dinosaur before we go inside. All this guy does is stomp, so let's just beat on him. He's not as bad as the Chomposaurs. 81 damage is nothing to sneeze at, but still, not as bad. If you can't breathe fire, that's already a huge advantage. Okay, so let's see what's in this cave. Yeah, it looks like a fire spring to me. Okay. Let me check something here. Okay, I think that's probably good for uh, a video here. Uh, next time we'll go ahead and go inside the fire spring and complete it. So we'll go ahead and do one more save. I don't even I don't even know why I'm doing this. I guess I'm just doing it out of habit. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do the fire spring next time. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little exploration of the Lost Underworld. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to go back to Lumen Hall or any other place for that matter and uh, see if I can farm up those special items. Um, I believe one of them is in the is in the fire spring, and I think there's also one in another area, which is a bit of a spoiler, so I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's coming up. And that particular one, uh, once you go into it and leave it, you can't come back to it. So let me know if you guys would like to see me get Ness, Paula, or let me call them by the names you guys know them by. Let me uh, let me go, let me know if you guys want to see me get uh, Neil Fox and Lisa's weapons. Um, if I do, what I'll probably do if you guys do want to see them is I'll probably do the farming for them, and depending on how long it takes, I'll either cut up the video or uh, if it's like the Sword of Kings and it shows up pretty quick, then I'll just put the whole thing up. But uh, thanks everybody for watching again. Um, please, if you are not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. If you are subscribed to the channel, please like and share the video. Uh, anything that you do like that to show support for the channel and for the work that I'm doing is greatly appreciated. And it uh, really gives me motivation to keep on going and keep at this. Uh, thank you everybody again for uh, coming to my channel and keeping up with the Earthbound series as well as the other series I've got going on. Um, we're going to call it here for today, and I will see you guys next time.